Welcome to the Nerds Who Swing Podcast. Welcome to the Nerds Who Swing Podcast. I'm Margo. And I'm Miller. You can find us everywhere where you would find like a normal podcast. A iTunes. Normal podcast. Yeah. <laughs> they have normal ones and sexy they ones. Do. They have them all. This is in the sexy iTunes department. You yeah. can find us anywhere. Just search Nerds Who Swing, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. You can find us. Twitter everywhere? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We're all the places. We are everywhere you want us to be. And you, well, I mean. <laughs> or we could be. There's that. <laughs> yeah. Email us at nerdswhoswing at gmail.com. Yeah. yeah. Email questions. Yeah. Comments. Send in pictures and you can be on our logo. That's right. Every episode we have a contest where you could be in the Nerds Who Swing logo. Go to our Instagram page and you can find all the past winners yeah. of every episode. They're not all me or no, you. You there are, are in some and I'm in some, but yeah. that was like the first couple episodes. Yeah. Now we have all of our sex- sexy listeners. It's so awesome. Giving us their pictures. It's, it's really, amazing. really good. Yeah. Now and then they're too sexy, but that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. I sometimes like to put the words over the titties just so you don't see the nipples, but <laughs> yeah. that's okay. <laughs> Keep sending in those nipples, ladies. Send us your nipples. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Nerds Who Swing podcast. Thanks for listening. Yeah. We're back. And cut. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> We're back. Keep talking. Okay. Say more words. Ready? This is difficult. A few years ago, I was in fantastic shape, very confident about my looks. But after a couple of medical issues, I find myself overweight and less or and self conscious. Mm. I'm still comfortable at nudist places, but at swinging clubs, not so much. My wife is stunning and easy to look at. There are many clothes for women who are overweight or curvy, but men's clothes really lack or men's clothes really lacks behind. Any suggestions on how to dress uh or sorry, any suggestions on how to dress that is better? Well, it's interesting that he's comfortable at nudist places. Um and oh, not yeah. swinger places. Yeah. But I'm I don't know that's... if that's just because maybe there's all kinds of different body types. Um uh, maybe he I don't know. Like, but there is at swingers. Yeah, too. I've seen all different um, types at swinger events. Yeah, but I, I mean, I haven't been to a, a no. I haven't been to a thing, nudist so thing, I, either, I guess so I don't I can't know. Compare. Yeah, but that is interesting that he's comfortable at one and not not the other. The other, hmm. Not that's not bad or anything. It's just interesting. No, not I, at all. It's sort of. I don't fully understand why, but I mean, he feels how he feels. Oh, I'm yeah. not questioning it, that. No. That there's yeah, a, he's that's, allowed to he's feel. He's allowed to be however. Quit he wants telling to feel. him he's not allowed to feel no, that no. way, Margo. I just, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> curious. Uh, because yeah. never having been at one of them, mm-hmm. I'm sort of in, just curious what the distinction is there. Yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe the nudist thing is it less sexual and more just being naked. Oh, so maybe he's not worried about attracting anybody. He's just just That's naked who he exactly is. Exactly what it is. And at yeah. like a swinger event, he's worried about like people not finding him attractive. Right. Um, so he's comfortable being naked, walking around naked. Right. But when he's walking around naked or semi-clothed or yeah. whatever and hopefully trying to attract people, yeah. of course that's different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's I, I bet that's totally what it is. Yeah. One point I for Miller. I just get there. Oh, <laughs> too many points for you. That's all right. Yeah, that makes total sense. So I could see that because there that. are times where you feel super confident. Yeah. Even just day-to-day life mm-hmm. with your whatever outfit you're wearing yeah. or whatever it is. Yep. And then all of a sudden, though, if I picked you up and threw like threw you into the middle of like yeah. a lifestyle party and yeah. be like, Oh, hang on. No, no, no. I wasn't this level yeah. confident. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I was good when I wasn't actively trying to attract anybody. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's totally well, fair. That makes sense. So, I mean, even before we talk about clothes that might potentially be beneficial, okay. like we should say like, like, so I'm, I'm relatively in shape. <laughs> and, uh, yes I, I'm in shape that was a humble break yes and, no but I just mean like when we go to events I feel um, the same thing sometimes where it's like I don't I worry about the way I look too mm-hmm. um, that's just human for exactly sure. so yeah. I feel like just before we even start talking about clothes he should just know that like it's normal feeling we're that all way. feeling that way um, it also sounds like he maybe set 
a pretty high bar for himself if he was in quite good shape at one yeah. point. Right. Um, so to not be that way him, anymore. Yeah. Maybe he looks mm-hmm. so different. Yeah. But but not that doesn't mean he looks bad. No, but, but in he his, looks yeah. so different to himself right. that it's hard to maybe see him that like, yeah if, for him to look at himself and think that he looks good, mm-hmm. which he very well might look great. Yeah, <laughs> just not but he's just to comparing it because to he's before, comparing yeah. it to whatever before. Yeah. So there's that too. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there is you know people of all shapes and sizes, which I'm sure he already knows. I mean, yeah. they they're part of the lifestyle. I'm sure they know that. But yeah. I do find it a little bit interesting just as a a woman. Yep. I don't think I've ever had anybody say curvy women have all kinds of clothing options and men have nothing. Right. Because the uh, you know, it's like if you're getting dressed for a fancy event, men wear suits, you're done. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> Every all the shapes and sizes, yeah. you all look good. Yeah. You're in a suit, you're done. Yeah. And here we are where it's like how many spanks can I wear today? <laughs> like, yeah, you right. know, so yeah. I'm just, it's just, it's an interesting question. It's it good is. to know. Yeah. Men feel this way too. Yeah. And it's a good reminder of that mm-hmm. because you hear about women feeling this way yeah. and dudes do too. Yeah. And that's okay. Totally. So I guess I wonder if part of it is like women have lingerie. Yeah. And, if you aren't comfortable taking off every piece of your lingerie, right? Like no one's going to complain about that, right? Because you could be str- look strategic about the lingerie. type of lingerie right. that you wear and cover up the parts exactly. that you're not comfortable with. Oh, I don't with. like to take off this. I don't like to take off yeah. that. F- no one's going to be like, well, then you. Like, yeah. of course not. They're going to yeah. be like, great, keep them on, mm-hmm. cool, whatever, right? And dudes do tend to kind of be like fully naked, right? Yeah, except for socks. Oh, obviously. Um, <laughs> so maybe that's part of what he's talking about too. Because that's true. Dudes kind of have, you don't have to, but like. No, but that's, tr- that is yeah. kind of true. Maybe that's more what he's referring to because in that sense, maybe. I do think it's a lot more forgiving to be a woman mm. because there are kind of Outfits pieces that you can, and yeah. parts you can kind of keep on if you want to. But in terms of just like going well, let's on assume a date or it's like just date clothes whatever, and just going to the club. Let's like cover it like that clothes. to start with. So what could dudes wear? I mean, men's clothing is just lacking in options. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Which you can look at as easy. Yeah. Or yeah. Or I or less so, I guess. Yeah. It depends on how you look at it. Totally. I mean, it's really more how the clothes fit you. Yeah, not what the clothes agree. are for a guy. Mm-hmm. Um, it's all fit. you need to find like a brand and like a clothing style that is flattering to you. And then really, it doesn't really matter very much what you wear, whether it's you're wearing, I mean, a tuxedo might be a little much, <laughs> but like yeah. we've seen people wearing, you know, suits with ties mm-hmm. and or suit shirts or with ties. S- yeah. Like or no just t-shirts or s- like, um, the t-shirt sport jacket yeah. look yeah. is really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, and one of my also looks. provides don't you give that a away. Bit. Well, I don't want it, people stealing my my look, <laughs> my style. But it's like a little bit more <laughs> coverage, maybe because yeah. you have a jacket. Yeah, and like a little totally. more shape and stuff. Yeah, if we'll call it the Miller issue. T-shirt with a jacket. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I mean button ups and stuff. Yeah, they work too. And I also think, I think you have to be not scared. Like what I would say if this was a lady asking the question, mm-hmm. to, to not be scared of trying on a wide range of sizes like, yeah. because it is about that fit. So if he's going to go try on like a button up shirt, mm-hmm. maybe he thinks he's whatever yeah. the size is. Try a couple smaller, try a couple bigger. Cause some stuff looks better, more yeah. fitted and some stuff looks better when it's kind of like more full frame, kind of like hangs different, yeah. you know, it's just a different yeah. thing. So I, I would do that too. I would take the same shirt and try it on in like five sizes. I agree. Cause who, Nobody cares what size no, the shirt says. Who cares what the label says? Yeah. But see which one looks better yeah. because you, you want might the be one surprised. that like fits well on your shoulders and sits in the right place. Yeah, and you know all of that. It's not just about being like, oh well, I I you know yeah. gained weight or something like that. I'm now this size. Like it it what looks good on your yeah. frame. Well, and it might be smaller than you think. And it might be bigger than you think. Yeah, you should try all of it. Just buy it, rip the label off. If yeah. you feel good, nobody cares. cares. Yeah. Um, w- with men's clothes, because there aren't a lot of options, mm-hmm. um, that 
adding like accessories is a good way to kind of um, give Ooh, yourself a little bit of like confidence. Okay. You know, like you add like a watch. Yeah. Um, I get a lot of compliments on my watch. Yeah. Um, and That's I true. I don't wear a smart watch. I I wear like a, a like a old, watch watch like a wide yeah leather band non digital like that like, like a watch. Yeah. Um, and I actually have a couple of them or and I've had like people dark, comment on them. You have that dark metal kind of. Yeah, I have a dark metal. metal. I have a yeah. wood one. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and yeah, the wood. and uh, people have commented on those ones. Mm -hmm. I have bracelets that I wear with it. Yeah, like wood beads kind of. Yeah. Or, um, or similar. Uh, or yeah. leather. If you're wearing, like your your belt should match your boots Ooh. or shoes, you know, mm -hmm. like. Um, I, who taught you that? Uh, I did. Oh, <laughs> Okay. I taught myself. Okay. Yeah. You're just so yeah. smart. I know, right? Um, I I mean, one thing for me is that I don't like when men tuck in golf shirts or t-shirts. I don't like That's that. That's a good I don't. It's just It doesn't look good ever, mm -hmm. so don't do that. <laughs> it, it will it's never flattering. look flattering on you, so don't do that. No, that's true. Button-up shirts can be different if it's really. longer, but you shouldn't be going out to like a club with like a long button-up shirt. Yeah, a more fitted button-up shirt, not tucked in. Yeah. With a nice fitting, like, dark jean. Yeah. Is it's great. really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do, like, super loose-fitting pants mm -hmm. that look like, you know, they're too big or too small for you. Uh, like, I just pants are just like shirts. You got to get the ones that fit right. That's right. Who cares about the size or where you get it from? not necessarily the thing. No, like, it could be smaller, I, I, it could be style, feels, it could be anything. Yeah, he feels bigger yeah. at the moment. Yeah. And so the natural thing would be to go bigger, but that sometimes is worse. Mm -hmm. Like totally. for ladies too. Absolutely. You wear like a big loose dress or something yeah. like that because just you're like, oh, I want to hide yeah. everything. And it's like, well, now you look like you're wearing a tent. Like yeah. that's, that didn't make it better. Yeah, exactly. So I think it's about being fitted in the right spots. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Yeah. Well, yeah. Good question. Yeah, I thought so too. There was actually quite a bit to it. Yeah. Um, thanks for uh, sending that in. Yeah. I hope we helped. If we didn't, sorry. Tell us where we went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I feel for him, and I think that's a very personal question. It's like absolutely a brave thing to ask. Actually, to yeah. be like, I was happy with my body, and it's betrayed me, yeah. <laughs> and I don't. I'm less happy now, and so mm -hmm. you know that's a tough spot to be in. Totally. And good for him for being like, so why you don't go anymore? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Where he's just like, he's yeah. trying to work through it, but yeah. he's also not just like, I've written yeah. it off and I can't go anymore. Yeah, he said his wife is pretty hot. Wow. Yeah. Send Good us for some, you, buddy. Yeah, send us some well pictures. Done. She could be in our logo. Hey, that's right. Always looking for logo models. That's right. Yeah, send those in. Thank you. Nope, I don't know who this I was. I don't think we had a name for that one. I was going to say Damon, but that's not. No, that was the previous question. Well, thanks. Uh, buddy. Buddy, yeah. We need to give him a name. Sorry. <laughs> He's my buddy. Thanks, Adam Driver. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Kylo Ren or from girls? No, from girls. From girls. Yeah. <laughs> he never wears a shirt. No. We're like a decade behind on that show. Yeah. We just started yeah. to watch girls. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> Not sure what year this is. Yeah. <laughs>